Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door and see what other challenges await us in this room. Limited time room of death. We got some staffos. We got some more staffos. So we've got a sculpture. I'm taking care of these guys first because of the fact that they are going, going to be in the way. <laughs> No, 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 uh-uh, no, you are going to be completely owned by the Bigoron Sword because I just don't have the time to deal with you critters, <laughs> and so are you, whoa, I forgot about that, you can't attack them from the front, it may have defense penetrating powers, but it's not that defense penetrating at points, and oh my god, not that blue fire, it, no way, you, oh wait, is that blue fire off to the side there? We got some arrows, okay. Oh, there's... Okay, I guess that blue fire covers it. So I'm going to grab this and push it forward to see what the heck this does. I don't know why I would want to push this block forward. I don't even remember this being in the original. I, I mean, at this point. Uh, but as you see, you need the silver gauntlets to fully explore this place. That's why I didn't come here before the spirit temple. And what I'm going to do here is empty out a fairy, because I've got a load of fairies. <laughs> I prefer having some blue fire instead, because I've seen that there was a um, door guarded by ice somewhere. Um, well, oh, hello there. Ah, <laughs> This is likely a Song of Time thing. Let's see. That was my vibrato. <laughs> now we come, go through here, and why did I deselect my blue fire when I knew I would have to melt this? I feel like an idiot. And I believe this room leads you to that other room that I said in the last part had a treasure chest in the original with those purple flames. Oh wait, no, this one doesn't. This one leads you to this. Let me look. Oh my. <laughs> what do I want to do in this room? Is there a solution for me in this room? We got to blind the eyes of the statue. Uh, all right, I'm supposed to shoot those eyes out with the uh, normal. I hope I'm not gonna jump into the lava there. I, have, I see I have a lot of forward momentum here. No! <laughs> that was just silly on my part. All right, so I'm going to... Yep, delightful. Is it gonna give me another little lecture here? Yeah, it will. Okay, so what I like to do in this room, if, if, it, if it'll react just like it did in the original one, is just to... Point yourself forward and let it spin you towards the eyes like that. Just adjust yourself gently, just like that. And get them all on one run across this thing, just like, there we go, one more left. You can only get them when you're shooting directly, you can't like, cheat it from hitting it from the side. No, 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 there we go. That gives me a treasure chest and stops this from moving apparently. Was this the treasure chest that I got from the thing? Mm, bomb chews. Why, why is this place giving me so many bomb chews? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I noticed, I noticed that there was a door up on that side that was locked. If I were to hook shot my way or long shot my way up to here. Not just awkward. <laughs> Oh, I see why they wanted me to come up here. I didn't see this from the ground. So that opens that door up there. Very nice. So which way do I want to go? Up there or do I want to go down there? I think I'm going to go up there first. Because this place, it seems easier to get to than the other place. Oh, yeah, this, this was the place... That, you remember I looked through here and said that this room looked like it didn't have anything, but in the original one it did. So this room may very well be a red herring in Master Quest. Uh, 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 I'm not seeing anything. Not No switches on the walls, nothing hidden. 
I believe you can even walk through this fire, so it's like, this fire is not even hot, it's useless! <laughs> it just lights the area, I suppose, so well, I guess that's not useless, but, um, yeah, I think this is just there to be there. <laughs> Hopefully I won't have to redo this puzzle, I don't think I will, because this thing isn't spinning anymore. Alright, so let's go through here. Here will this lead me into a locked door. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Kill. Die. I'm gonna leave the Iron Knuckle for last because he will be the biggest trouble over the Slugmas over here. I'm going to rape this guy. Ah, unless I get raped first. And come on. What? What? And rack flip. Time for the loop. <laughs> This technique works so well! I love it! Okay, I see a little switch peeping out of that portrait up there. I'm starting to get a very sharp eye for these tricky puzzles of Master Quest here that force you to pay attention to detail. Are all the prizes in this place like arrows and monies and I don't know. There's a switch. What did that... what did... what? Was that a switch that was supposed to like... I don't know, affect something in the original. I've only been through the, um, the Gerudo's training grounds once. Oh, okay, that, that that makes a lot of sense there. I've only been through the tra training grounds even... Oh, that's where you get the small key from. Awesome sauce. As I was saying, you've all... You all what's wrong with me? I can't speak now. I've only went through the Gerudo training grounds once before, and... Only once on my 100% file, so I'm pretty unfamiliar with this place in general. Besides the fact that I'm playing this game, I mean playing this place blind in Master Quest. But it's going pretty well so far, I probably shouldn't say something too early though. Um, this looks like I am going to need my hover boots and I see a torch there. Hover boots, probably the long shot, Din's Fire 2. I'm just gonna take that, oh, I need the Megaton Hammer first to hit the switch, and hopefully this will um, affect these things permanently, and it won't be like a timed run. Wait, actually, what did that do? Oh, wait, it made that appear. Okay, so that that's not a timed switch, so I don't really have to rush. So I can just pull myself over there and think this through carefully. What is up through here if I were to get up? Nothing all that special. Wait, I, did I, I see a little corner. See that right there? A little graphical? Does that mean that it is something that's hidden? Probably not, because it looks just like a graphical flaw. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. This leads me back, back to the treasure room. I forgot all about that. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this place in the slightest. I've only been through the original once, so it's it's gonna be a trial and error thing here. It's practically blind. All right, so this is a subsection of. The... Did that say loser? <laughs> oh, that was clever. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go through this door and see what's up. Wait, doesn't this lead me to the middle room? Well, not yet, at least. Oh, wait, 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 this leads me back to the main room. Yeah, yeah, this is looping me back around. Well, let's, let's go to that uh, locked door then, since I got the key. I mean, why not, since I'm here? I just have to rendezvous around this whole place to that door. Mm, this takes a while. Oh wait, there's two locked doors. Okay, so there's probably one key from... Wait, three locked doors. Unless this one gives me a key. Boink! Loser! It does say loser! <laughs> ah, that is awesome. Alright. Let's take a look around these parts. So I need two more keys to get to that middle area thing. 
whatever reason why I need to get that to that middle area is beyond me because I don't see a treasure chest unless it's hidden within that crate and I just can't you know tell that there's a treasure chest underneath it because it's perfectly covering it or something like that <laughs> oh, I never thought that they'd throw something like that in there that's pretty clever oh wow that was freaking awesome Oh, I believe that the Gerudo's Training Grounds is the only dungeon in the game that you can reset from the beginning. If I'm not mistaken, like by leaving and then repaying that entrance fee. I believe it's one of those kinds of places where it's like more of a trial than it is a dungeon. Okay, now I'm back at this place. So I'm going to take a look through the ceiling and see if there is anything of interest because remember I, I I recall there being special hidden rooms through the ceiling because all of these all these fences here can be climbed if you didn't notice that you can you can just grab onto any one of them even on the edge of these poles here and just climb right up of them <clears throat> so yeah that's why I'm a little bit suspicious of, of there being like new holes here or whatnot oops forgot my lens of truth and I'm sure they wouldn't make it, like, too... Well, I shouldn't put that past Master Quest. I was going to say, I'm sure they wouldn't make it too cryptic in the in the way that you would have to find, like, some tiny thing hidden behind some other tiny thing that's... Yeah, you get the idea. That you would have to have an incredibly sharp eye to see. Alright, so, now that I'm over here, where does this get me? <laughs> I know I can pull myself over there with my long shot, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to assume also that I need to light this. Not, not like that. I mean, I, that I need to light this to start a little sequence. At least I think. Yeah, that's going to turn that off. Now, I just, I just like to see for a second here if this is timed. Because I don't want to, like, start and then not have my route picked out. Like, I'd like to go to those three first, and then come back, go to that one, and then, oh yeah, it is timed. Oh, no, wait, that's a non-issue, because I can just keep relighting that torch, just as long as I don't get knocked into the lava. Okay, so what I, what I want to do is actually get my fire arrows out, so I can light it from a distance, if need be. So what I'll do is, like... Light it here, and then I will do the sequence here, oh, and look out for the poto booze. And now I'm going to long shot my- whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Long shot my way back over there quickly, like that. And now I will be able to restart this from the beginning, just like that. Easy. Or at least I think it's going to be easy, it's looking pretty easy. Looks can be deceiving in Master Quest. So now I'm going to use my hover boots and go all around. Go all around. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, I got the door, I got the door. Long shot over quickly. Oh, I hope that didn't reset it. <laughs> oh my god, it takes me all the way back over here. Are you serious? Well, let's see if the silver rupees are back. No, I did manage to make it. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so now I got two pathways. I got this one over here, and then I've got the other one over there. Both are equally easy to get to, and I believe this one was open from... Oh, it's just giving me a warning for this room. So this is likely a way back, or likely a way to this place. There's a false. Oh, wait, these are Dinla false, excuse me. Uh, these guys are not going to give me any trouble whatsoever. As are, I mean, as is the Dodongo there. Because at this point with the big Oron sword, it's going to be a one hit kill for those things. And is that it? No, that's not it. One more. I suppose. Yeah, it just penetrates it. Oh, wait, Armos. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, 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 I can just simply... I'm overcomplicating things here. I want to throw a bomb up there like that. There we go. There's another one there. 
Good thing I spawned you. Oh, this is a regular Lizafols, not a Dinlafols. Alright, there's chests, doors open, and I get a key. So that's two of three. Not going back to that treasure room until I uh, get all the keys, obviously. Because I it's kinda like useless backtracking. Oh, this leads me back to the main room. Okay, so this is the actual right path, so they all lead back to the uh, central area. So the new, I mean, the next place that I'm going to, oh, I'm sliding all over the place here. The next place I'm going to is by, you're going to give me a message? No, you're not going to give me a message, strangely. Okay, I want to do that. And then go through here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Collect the underwater gems. Oh, this is a... Oh, my. <laughs> this is a... Hey, you can kill them with your uh, long shot easily. And that was berries and berries. Perhaps they're named after a fruit or something like that, which I highly doubt. <laughs> and I'll just do this, because it wastes less magic power than Din's Fire. And... I guess underwater we go! So I'm going to have to put on this, this, and I got my long shot. So let's go! I am not liking the looks of this place. Oh, hey, those clams weren't in um, the water temple, come to think of it. I was wondering where they went. Uh, yeah, these things right here, they are shell blades. The trick to these is to get your... Ow. is to get your long shot out as you approach them and as they open up to attack you then you just attack them with your long shot yeah I don't think these were in um, the water temple and it's it sometimes they're a little bit finicky sometimes but they die in sh a blood shower of bubbles which I always found pretty strange <laughs> uh, but anyway let's not uh, question that too much for an e-rated game and just continue through here and I'm going to can I touch this? No, I can't. All right. There's no time limit in this place, so there's not, no need to rush whatsoever. Oh, come on! That, that was preposterous! Uh, wait, what's... Why do I... Why is there one right here? It's like they're trying to get me to do fancy angles to collect these things. And... How many more... I mean, how many... Yeah, how many more places are there in this room that... I would have to long shot too. It looks like there's only three in this place. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah. What you want to do is put the rupee in between yourself and the target, and you'll automatically pull yourself to it. I think I mentioned how to do that before, back at the Shadow Temple. But I thought I would just make a double mention of it here for you. Uh, and that opens nothing. It just gives me a chest. So. Is there anything underwater here? I don't, even, I don't even think I can use the lens of truth underwater. No, I can't. So I'm just gonna have to take off my boots and hope there's nothing else in here. Hopefully that is the last key. And I just noticed there is a current in this room as well. So if you didn't have your iron boots on, you'd be swept away. Didn't notice that at all, but it doesn't really affect anything, as you've seen. I mean, I, di I didn't even notice it in the slightest. Alright, so I assume that this is the last key because I didn't see any other rooms. Yep, so I guess that's the dungeon for you. So that means I can just simply do this to get myself back to the main area. Man, this dungeon was easy! Unless there's more to it. Because remember, there is that crate in the middle, and that, that was all that I seen in the middle there, was that crate. So, for all I know, these keys are a fake. So you shall see if the key is a lie. Yeah, I couldn't say keys there, because it wouldn't have rhymed. <laughs> but if, if it's absolutely real and I'll be able to get over to that thing and there's a treasure chest in there containing the ice arrows I'll have finished this dungeon if not I am completely baffled as to where the ice arrows are okay so here we go 
the crate. Break the crate. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, 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 I bet you I know what this is. This is going to make a crate appear. I mean, this is going to make a treasure chest appear. Over in that area with the purple fire. That Remember I said the purple fire doesn't hurt you? I'll bet you any money that's what it's going to do. Because that room was such a suspicious room. was such a suspicious dead end that I bet you that's what it's going to do. I can't tell where the heck that appeared. <laughs> well, that's a problem. All right. So let's go searching, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna climb up here because I can see into that. Oh, oops, I'm, I'm a little too far ahead, aren't I? I'm gonna climb up into that room that I could see to the purple torches or purple fire from this side, just so I don't like go on a wild goose chase or something like that. And yep, that's where it appeared. Just as I thought. Well, you know how to get in there, so I'm just gonna cut ahead. And here we are in the spinny fire room where you had to shoot the eyes out. And here we are in the purple torch room. If you don't remember how to get back here. Yep, it's the ice arrows. See, this room seems so suspicious that I, I, even though I said it was probably a red herring, I still, for some reason, decided to look around this place. And yeah, this it said difficult training, but this was actually one of the easiest dungeons I've played so far in Master Quest, actually. Or maybe it just seems easy compared to what I went through in the Fire Temple and the Spirit Temple. I mean, it's just pretty much, yeah, everything is... You just have to look through each room with the lens of truth, and that's all. <laughs> just carefully uh, check through everything, and it's... Yeah, it was really easy. There's nothing that, that surprised me, and there's nothing that held me back. I managed to do everything practically on my first try, except for that last room with the silver rupees, as you've seen. And here we are, back at the lobby. Well, tis all. <laughs> Congratulations, you have got an optional item. The ice arrows. They are just like any other kind of arrow of an element. You just equip them just like any other thing, and you can then freeze things. They're pretty cool, but they come so late in the game that they're sort of useless. <laughs> and I believe they're optional in Master Quest, because, you know, I was able to beat Master Quest without them. As I said, I never even went through the Gerudo's training grounds. But for the sake of completion, I got them. And I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. That was fun.